Did you know that during the Stone Age, spanning millions of years, our ancestors developed some of the earliest forms of shelter? These prehistoric homes were the first steps toward the complex structures we live in today. Welcome to Tailforge TV, where we bring the ancient world to life. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories from the past. The Stone Age shelters varied greatly, reflecting the diverse environments and needs of the people. These early builders used locally available materials, showcasing remarkable ingenuity and adaptability. Let's take a closer look at how they constructed their homes. One of the most iconic Stone Age shelters is the Simple Cave. Natural caves provided ready-made protection from the elements and predators. However, when caves were not available, early humans created their own shelters. For example, in areas with abundant trees, they built wooden huts. These structures were made by arranging wooden poles in a circular pattern, tying them together at the top and covering them with animal hides, leaves, or grass. This type of shelter is known as a wikiup or wigwam. In colder climates, such as during the Ice Age, people needed more insulated homes. They constructed igloos out of snow blocks or built semi-subterranean houses, partially dug into the ground and covered with wood, bones, and earth. These shelters retained heat better, providing a warm refuge during harsh winters. One of the most interesting aspects of Stone Age construction is the use of mammoth bones. In Eastern Europe, remains of homes made from mammoth bones and tusks have been discovered. These bones formed the framework, which was then covered with hides and earth. This not only provided sturdy shelter, but also utilized available resources efficiently. As time progressed, Stone Age people developed more advanced building techniques. In the Neolithic period, they started to construct more permanent homes. One notable example is the use of wattle and daub. This technique involved weaving wooden branches together to form a wall and then coating it with a mixture of mud, straw, and animal dung. These homes were more durable and weather resistant. Let's pause for a moment. If you find these ancient building techniques fascinating, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join our growing community of history lovers. Returning to our exploration, we find that Stone Age communities also built larger communal structures. In some areas, people constructed megalithic monuments like Stonehenge. While not homes, these stone structures indicate a significant advancement in construction skills and social organization. They required precise planning, collaboration, and a deep understanding of their environment. So, why did Stone Age people build such diverse shelters? The answer lies in their adaptability to different climates and their innovative use of local materials. This adaptability was crucial for their survival and laid the foundation for future architectural advancements in summary, Stone Age shelters were as varied as the environments they were built in. From simple caves and wooden huts to sophisticated mammoth bone houses and wattle and daub structures, these homes reflect the ingenuity and resourcefulness of our ancestors. Next time, we'll explore another intriguing aspect of ancient life, but there's always more to uncover. Don't forget to subscribe to Tailforge TV for more captivating insights into our past. What do you think was the most impressive aspect of Stone Age shelter construction? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching Tail Forge TV.